Beethoven, Ernest Trotter. Born May 16, 1870. Died September 11, 1940. He was the founder of the Grand Rapids, Michigan City Rescue Mission, which he led for more than 40 years, becoming a leader in American fundamentalism during the first four decades of the 20th century. Mel was one of seven children, born in Orangeville, Illinois, to a bartender who drank as much as he served. And it wasn't long before Trotter fell into gambling and heavy drinking himself. And moving his family from Freeport, Illinois, Pearl City, Iowa, Davenport, Iowa, just all over the place, was taking a toll on his marriage to Lottie Fisher, and he even lost the life of one of his children. After the loss of his child, he blamed himself. Standing beside the coffin, he swore he never touched liquor again. Two hours later, he was staggering drunk. Hopping a train headed for Chicago in January 1897, sold shoes to keep on drinking. But he was kind of nudged in the Pacific Garden Mission, where he was converted after hearing the testimony of its director, Harry Monroe. Trotter got a barbering job and spent every night at the mission. He could play the guitar and he could sing. He and Monroe represented the mission as supporting churches. In 1900, Grand Rapids businessmen decided to establish a rescue mission in the city's ramshackle red light district, and Monroe suggested Trotter, who had never done anything like leading the mission, as the director. But Trotter stood tall and took charge. On one occasion, he had the crown saying more about Jesus while he tossed hooligans into the street. Now Trotter done some mighty good stuff for a lot of people. In 1905, Trotter was ordained by the Presbyterian Church. Although it was said that it was very unorthodox, Within a few years, Trotter had the largest rescue mission in the United States. And in 1906, the organization purchased the local burlesque house in order to provide more space for its varied ministries. The Mission Sunday School soon had attendance of three to 500 children who were often fed and clothed, as well as being evangelized. Yeah, people loved Trotter. He was a strong leader and had a keen business sense. Trotter and a musician friend even entertained soldiers in American training camps for the YMCA during World War I. During the second decade of the 20th century, Trotter was stricken with cancer, and his wife left him. And again, he considered taking his own life. By this time, Trotter had become a popular Bible conference speaker, and he knew he couldn't let people down. In 1939, Trotter suffered a severe heart attack in Kannapolis, North Carolina. He died at his summer cottage near Hall of Michigan in 1940. He was buried at the Graceland Mausoleum in Grand Rapids. His papers are at the Billy Graham Center in Wheaton College. At his funeral in 1940, it was a massive turnout. Many of his friends was there. One recalled that he would pray with an alcoholic and stand him on his feet and say, Now go home, get the wife and kiddies, and come on down to the mission tonight. One man even said, As they'd walk away, he slipped a dollar bill or a silver dollar in a poor drunkard's hand and pat him on the back. 
The mission he founded, Mel Trotter Ministries, is still operating to this day. <laughs>